welcome back in this video we are going to talk about azure certification path if you are an experienced person or if you are a fresher uh, and uh, would like to learn azure then you might have a question on what to start which path you want to start okay so this video talks about uh, different learnings you have, I mean, learning paths you have, different certification paths you have, and based on your experience and interest, you might be choosing the right certification path. So I'm sharing my screen, so you might see, um, you know, different paths that are available here. So the first and uh, foremost thing that you need to understand is AZ900, which is Azure Fundamentals. So this talks about, uh, you know, uh, cloud concepts, you know, core Azure services, core solutions and management tools and Azure, general security and network security features. And it talk, also talks about identity, governance, privacy and compliance features. It also talks about Azure cost management and service developments. So this is not only for the technical uh, expert people, or it's also useful for the people who are into the project management, um, who are into the, uh, uh, you know, um, management roles or leadership roles. They wanted to understand how public cloud, which is Azure, how it works and what are the components we have, right? So because they, they might be, you know, dealing with the customers day in, day out. So they need to understand the core or fundamental concepts of Azure. For them, it is a getting started, you know, point. And for the people who are very new to the IT, Azure, uh, then for them also, it is very useful. Then once you're done with the certification, or, you know, once you understand the core Azure components, then you might choose any one of these two platforms, which is Azure Developer or Azure Administrator. If you have any programming experience, um, or you know how you have been doing any uh, development activities, so, you, so then you can go for the Azure Developer, you know, certification, and uh, this will be the right path for you to get started. If you don't have any, you know, um, experience into the development, and you have some experience into the IT infrastructure, you know how, uh, you know, IT system administration works, server administration works, right? You you might be a system administrator, you know, having experience into the Windows, Linux environment or core operating systems, or you have some experience into the networking components, or, you know, basic IT infrastructure, and then for you, it is the best choice to go for Azure administrator, okay? So, once you're done with this, any one of these two, based on experience and expertise, right? Then you can go for um, other two certification that are mentioned here in the bottom, right? So, um, which is Azure Security Engineer Associate and uh, Azure DevOps Engineer. So the first three, uh, Azure Developer, Administrator and Security Engineers are an associate level but Azure DevOps engineer and solution architect, which you see here, they are on an expert level, okay? So I, I do not recommend you to directly go to Azure fundamentals to security or you know, DevOps engineer roles. I would strongly recommend you take either Azure administrator, Azure developer, then you learn Azure security and DevOps engineer because an Azure administrator or Azure development so the core Azure components, um, you know, uh, will be covered with the level 100 or 200. So you will understand what components are there. Then, then you can see how we can secure the environment with the Azure security engineer role. And with the Azure DevOps engineer role, you can see how we can automate the infrastructure development deployment, or, you know, how you can automate the application deployment. Right. So once you're done with any one of these four, I mean, all these four certifications or, you know, all these three certification, at least uh, 104, 500 or 400 or 204, 500 or 400. Any one of these three certifications, uh, if you complete it, then you can try for um, Azure Solution Architect certifications. And it is not straightforward that, you know, you, you learn this and you clear the exam, then you can go for architect, no. 
So I would recommend to you work for at least one or two years to get some real time hands on experience. Then you understand, you know, how customer use cases and what kind of business requirement you will see and how you have to design a solution and uh, which platform you have to choose for customer requirement. So based on customer needs, you, you might have to design a solution, right? So those, those kind of scenarios will be covered in the Azure Architect Technologies and Azure Architect Design. So these are the different certification paths you have. So based on your experience and expertise, you might be choosing the right certification path. Okay, so um, I, I would recommend for the people uh, who are very new to the IT or you know, who do not have any programming experience, I would recommend them to go for Azure Administrator, then Security Engineer, DevOps Engineer. Then once you get a real hands-on experience, then you can go for Architect. All right, so then let me quickly take you to um, Azure, I mean, certification paths so that you'll understand where to go and uh, look for the information. So, so this is the uh, page uh, talks about different uh, certifications you have. One for developer, administrator, solution architect, data engineer, data scientist, AI engineer, DevOps engineer, security engineer, functional consultant. So we spoke about developer, uh, Azure developer. So. If you click on this link, it will take you to the Azure Developer Certification Path. Here you can see the basic exam that you need to you know, clear. It's not always mandatory, but to move to the next level, uh, it is recommended for you to learn this or clear this exam. So Azure's fundamentals is the one you need to uh, understand if possible you need to clear the exam. Otherwise you can directly write this Azure uh, Developer Associate exam. If you have enough hands-on experience, uh, you can go for Azure Developer Associate. And um, if you are going for Azure Administrator, here is the link, open this link. This again talks about um, you know, fundamentals and Azure Administrator. So again, if you already have good understanding about fundamentals, no need to spend amount for writing this exam and you can directly go for Azure Administrator Associate. Okay, this is an optional certification. Okay, then um, going to the next one, uh, which is the DevOps engineer. So DevOps engineer learning path, you can see, uh, you need to be certified in uh, Azure Fundamentals and you, can, you should be certified in Azure Administrator Associate or, or Azure Developer Associate. It's not mandatory always, as I mentioned, you can, you can be certified in any one of these two, okay? Then go for Azure DevOps Engineer Expert, expert. Um, right? So uh, it it's all depends on, you know, your experience. If you have experience in development, you can create developer associate, then go for DevOps Engineer Expert, where you mostly dealing with the, will be dealing with the uh, application, uh, you know, integration and application development, how we can, you know, use the DevOps uh, culture in your organization, uh, how you can integrate uh, or introduce DevOps tools into your application modernization or application deployment. If you're a developer or if you are an Azure administrator and learning the Azure DevOps engineer expert, then you might be focusing more on how you can automate your infrastructure deployment. Right, using the ARM templates, or Terraform, or, or you know various uh, CI/CD tools. Right, so that's about the learning path for the DevOps engineer. And if you're planning to learn security engineer, again the learning path would be fundamentals and security uh, engineer associate. But I would also recommend you to learn Azure Administrator and go for security engineer. So if I open the security engineer uh, topics or syllabus, you here you're going to talk about manage identity and access, implement uh, platform protection, manage security operations, security data and applications. So which means that at least you should be aware of how infrastructure deployments, um, you know, configured in Azure, 
how we can secure your uh, infrastructure or you know how we can how we need to secure your users lock in and you know so if you wanted to understand them but right so you cannot directly go here you need to first learn as your administrator how your you know azure infrastructure architecture looks like do you have any you know nvas or firewalls in place how data is coming in and data is going out which which uh, tools we are using uh, to monitor the security incidents and uh, how your users are logging in do they use multi factor authentication are they using strong passwords so i mean the, such kind of you know things that you wanted to understand first you need to understand how azure identity is set up how how azure infrastructure is set up right so that's why uh, i would recommend you need to learn fundamentals then go for um, administrator then go for security or azure devops engineer once you are done with the devops engineer and azure security azure administration azure fundamentals then go for azure solution architect so here is the link for solution architect and uh, if you open this so there are two exams, 303 and 304. Um, so once you have enough hands-on experience, then you can go for 303 or 304. So um, there's a notification that shows in this, uh, which talks about the these exams will be retired and you will get a new exam, which is AZ305. That's in beta now. So things might change, but the at the end of the day, the concept is same. If you are certified in fundamentals, administrators, security engineer, DevOps engineer, then you are eligible to take solution architect, but it's always to have or give some enough time to get some hands-on experience before you clear this, uh, you know, go for architect syllabus. So in this upcoming web, uh, YouTube series, I'm going to make videos on uh, Azure fundamentals, administrators, then we'll also talk about security engineer, DevOps engineer, and Azure architect.